I got a question uh, last week uh, via, I think it was somebody left a comment, and um, the person was asking, uh, let's see, I was curious, uh, you know, he's curious uh, if there was a particular reason you know, why you, where he's talking about me, haven't added an amplifier to your shack equipment. <laughs> I enjoy and have learned a lot from your videos. Keep up the good work. So um, let's talk a little bit about amplifiers. And um, are amplifiers, do you think they're a necessity for the amateur shack? Or is there other things we can do? Uh, because... I've got I've got a feeling and I've got a, there's a there's a reason why I don't have an amplifier and there's a lot of little reasons which kind of yeah the money thing um, <laughs> <laughs> I live in a residential neighborhood so I don't really have an antenna that would fully exploit the capabilities of an amplifier mm -hmm. I think that um, if I had an amp I would end up burning a bigger hole into the clouds than what I already do especially on the lower bands. Mm -hmm. um, and also, my house is 100 years old, and my 100-amp panel is maxed out. So if I, knew, uh, if I knew a good electrician... <laughs> oh, thank you for saying a good one. I appreciate that. <laughs> Not an average one. An average Joe, so to speak. <laughs> well, tr no, I, I think an average electrician put in the last panel because it's yeah. it's a nightmare <laughs> so i mean there are 120 volt amplifiers out there mm -hmm. um yep so let's talk about a couple things here so there's 240 volt 120 volt um and some are interchangeable issue is these do take a lot of current mm -hmm. generally if it takes less than 15 amps on 120 they'll run it on 120 um It'll take even less. It'll take 50% less current if you run it at 240 because of Ohm's law, of course. Yeah. Um, so there's like the, uh, I have one here. I just got one like three months ago and it was given to me. It needs a little work. Uh, it's an Ameritron 811, AL 811. This is a 600 watt amplifier. You know, it's like the kicker on CV. You know, it does not 1500 <laughs> watts, but it's a good kicker. Um, yeah. it's, a, it's a tube amp. And it runs on 120 from the factory. Probably pulls about 10, 12 amps on 120 volts. You can rewire it for 240. And it'll take less current. Um, but you don't have to under normal circumstances. Now, mm -hmm. your bigger amplifiers, your full legal limit ones, those usually you want to run them on 240, like at a 20 watt or a 20 amp or a 30 amp circuit. Um, and that requires a little bit more doing so to speak. Yeah, yeah um now i'm not telling people to go open up their fuse or breaker panel and start you know running circuits that's not for everyone but it's not that difficult but in michael's situation or if you have a house that's smaller or maybe your fuse panel or breaker i say fuse panel but a breaker panel uh is, is kind of pushing the limit um consider one of those like al 811s or something like that it's not a full legal limit but you can run it on 120 and just be fine mm -hmm. but, yeah yeah but so. overall uh i'm not a i'm not a um amplifier fan the guys on 40 80 and 160 all run amps you know the guys who are doing the um uh, rag twos and stuff they all do that <laughs> and that's fine uh, but my elmer one of the first things he said is that you can get more results tweaking your antennas without mm -hmm. a tower and big beams than what you'll get with an amplifier. Absolutely. But and I, I think an yeah. amplifier is kind of a crutch. Hmm. Now, a yep. really good antenna with an amplifier. Oh boy. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but that, see, there's, there's, that, that things are great, but, but for the average guy, yeah. Work on your antenna a little bit more. Put a little bit more money into the antenna, or put it into the feed line, uh, and work on that before you before you get an amp, and you'll see great results. You really will. Um, mm -hmm. The amplifier is great when the band is just DOA, right? And then you, right. even then you're making some modest contacts. Yeah, yeah, but, um, yeah. yeah. Uh, so we're, I... we're from the we're from the uh, stable where antenna more amp less. 
So there's so much you can do to your station without having to invest in an amplifier to really improve your signal. You know, it's it's yeah, the antenna, uh, the antenna's placement or position, the feed line, uh, you know, the, the other the other amenities in your shack, even a transceiver you're using, maybe a little bit of an upgrade with that, um, just better better sensitivity, better receive, will help you you know, make those contacts. And mm -hmm. I, what I, what I've said is I've, you know, I've, I've, I don't have an amplifier and I've never really had an issue making a, you know, making a contact that I wanted to make. So mm -hmm. it's, you know, uh, it's, so it's been, it's been working for me so far. And I think what happens a lot of times is uh, new hams are get, they, they get this impression, this mistaken impression that you need an amplifier because of all of the questions on the exam. We've, we've got questions about amplifier usage on the general and the extra exam. And those questions are there for good reason. And you need to know that information. But I think it's a little, it's, I don't, I don't want to say it's disingenuous, but it's, it's, or, or, or even selling them down a, a, a bad, bad course because it's not. But I, I, I think, I, I think it, it just creates a mistaken impression that you need an amplifier because that's some of the stuff we're testing you on. So again, we're not, I'm not dissing amplifiers. Now, if no. you go buy a QRP radio and then you buy an amplifier for it, I might smack you up the head. Right. Mm -hmm. <laughs> but, <laughs> all that aside is, you know, I know a lot of people that run amps and they're great. They, they definitely serve their purpose. Mm -hmm. Um, I think, especially in certain contexts, if you're working um, weak signal or EME or some other stuff, especially VHF, UHF, um, yep. amplifier is necessary for some of those things. If you mm -hmm. want to have a rag shoe with the guys locally on 80 meters at night, don't be using an amp at all. Yeah. That's really kind of silly, I think. Um, <laughs> and then there's so, but there's that in between that 80, 40, 20, you know, the average user. Um, you know, I guess if you're a serious contester, yeah, okay, mm -hmm. amp, the amp is definitely something you'd probably consider. Uh, yep. But, you know, if you just want to have a good time in the, in the shack, you don't need an amp at all. No, you, you don't. You definitely don't yeah. need one going to a park. Thank you so much for the questions. If you keep sending them, we'll keep answering them. Feel free to leave your questions and comments down in the comment area below. I'll filter through them, and who knows, yours may end up on our next Your Questions Answered live stream. Our Q&A live streams happen on the first Thursday of the month, starting at 7 o'clock p.m. Central Time. I hope to see you there. For more articles and information, along with a full line of VHF and UHF antennas for sale, please check out my website at www.jpol-antenna.com. Your support of this channel drives the production of future videos. Check us out on Patreon. Patrons gain access to exclusive content, and our patrons help keep the mission alive. That's over on patreon.com slash kb9vbr antennas. Well, give us that thumbs up if you like this video, and don't forget to hit that subscribe button if it's your first time here. That's your best way to be notified when a new video is released. I'm Michael, KB9VBR. Have a great day, and 73.